Okay, picking up where we left off, um, I kind of made a little table here, and these are the three things you need to know, okay? Um, go ahead and write them down, but you're going to memorize them pretty quick. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you're going to uh, get a lot of practice. So, yeah, you, go ahead and write them down, just because it's not, it's not like too tough to write these three things down, but... You know, it's not it's not absolutely necessary. Um, so we're gonna uh, do some stuff. So now that we got that going, let's. Um, and you have a, a calculator with trig functions. Let me draw a triangle for you here. Okay, and this is a pretty pretty basic one. You'll see this a lot. This is a three four. Five. Okay, if you have a tri this is kind of, um, you might have seen, I don't know, if you're like a carpenter, you might have seen a three, four, five triangle or a metal worker, sheet metal guy. I mean, it, they have these triangles just for doing work and they're actually called three, four, five triangles. Okay, so what if I want to know the sine of theta? Okay, in this case, sine of theta is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. Okay. It'll equal three fifths. Cosine of theta. Well, that's equal. What's that equal to? That's equal to four fifths. And tangent of theta is going to be equal to three fourths. Okay. Okay. All right. So we got that going. Just drawing something here. Um, let's say this is 16 and this is 21. Okay. I now I want to I, I want to find out what this side is. This is a. a. Actually, let's pretend we don't know this. We don't we don't know what that is. Okay. This is B. Um. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Um, we could do a. We could do we could try the Pythag theorem. Okay, but uh, I don't, that's really not going to finish anything for us. Um, I'll tell you what we can do. We can take the sine or the cosine of of uh, this angle theta, and we can actually figure it out that way. I'll show you how. Okay, watch this. Cosine of theta is equal to what? Remember adjacent over hypotenuse. So let's just write that. Okay. Um, there's another piece of information you're going to have to know. Um, so let me just give it to you. Um, theta is going to equal 30 degrees. Okay. So let's go ahead. Before we get into that, let's just solve for uh, B real quick. B is the unknown. So let's multiply both sides by 21. And where are we going to get? What's that worth? Okay, what's this whole thing worth? It's going to cancel out, so we're going to end up with 21 times cosine of what? 30 degrees equals B. So go ahead and type in your calculator. You're, you, you'll, in no time, you're going to have sine of 30 degrees memorized, but for now, just uh, type in the calculator if you don't have it ready yet. Actually, I'm going to do it too. I'm going to use my calculator. And what is that equal to? 18 point, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna round it to the nearest tenth. So that's 18.2 if you're uh, Chuck. So B equals 18.2, okay? And that makes sense because the hypotenuse is usually gonna be a little little uh, deal it's from there. So there's B. Now let's find A, let's find A. What, so what's, what's A? Okay, well, let's use, what, what's sine theta, ask yourself? Well, sine theta is opposite of her hypotenuse. Let's just do the same, same thing. So what is sine theta worth? Okay, let's take the sine of theta. Sine theta is worth A over 21, isn't it? Okay, same thing. Now I'm just gonna multiply both sides by 21.
Okay. This is going to cancel out. I'm going to get A equals 21 times the sine of 30 degrees. Oh, and make sure your calculator's in what's called degree mode. There should be like a little degree, rad, grad, dad, and all that stuff. So the sine of 30, well, I know that's one half, but I'm going to type it in here and see what it says. It's going to be what I got. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to be A equals 21 times sine of 30. Actually, hang on here. Okay, that's equal to 10.5. So, it looks like B was equal to 18.2 and A was equal to, what, 10.5. Now, if we do the Pythagorean theorem, we should get 21. We probably won't get exactly 21, but because I rounded off some decimals, but let's just go 10.5 squared plus 18.2, oops, not on the video, equals c squared so and 10.5 squared plus 18 squared equals 441.5 I'm just going to estimate it okay um, so that's, uh, that's, that's going to be a squared plus b squared. So c is going to equal the square root of that. Oh, dang, I'm not on the camera again. Crap. I'm sorry. Uh, and that comes out to be approximately 21.0116 so yeah I mean I told you it was gonna be a, a, a number like that because we didn't do it but but there we go that's uh that's basically trigonometry you know and then that, that's what that's what we're gonna do so how about one more video of sine and cosine and all that stuff